Hello everybody and welcome to the University of Hohenheim. You are at the Institute of Agricultural Engineering and especially in the tropics and subtropics group led by Professor Müller. We are a group of researchers and students dealing with solar cooling and we have in the last years been assessing cooling solutions especially for the milk value chain. We started five years ago and we have at the moment 19 systems in different countries in Tunisia, Kenya and Colombia and we have been testing on the field the technical feasibility but also the promising business models. We have been working since one year how to promote also business model for technology suppliers and have come to the conclusions that we need to promote solutions that are able to be adapted on site, that are able to be produced or assembled on site and that are able to be commercialized and maintained in rural areas. And now I'm happy to present you the solar cooling unit. This is a device that is able to produce cold energy directly from PV modules. So as you can see here, the PV module is directly connected to the cooling unit. This cooling unit has several components. The first one you see here is the control unit. This has the whole electronics that are needed to um, uh, run a certain system. Then you see here the compressor, the condenser, so this is the condensing unit that is normally outside in the ambient and this is the evaporator plate which is actually producing the cold effect. The control unit adapts to the solar energy so you can connect the cooling unit with or without batteries. The control inside will adapt to their solar energy availability. From the other side we have the possibility to make the system compatible to pay as you go so that users can for example uh, pay for the cooling unit uh, monthly. The idea of the solar cooling units is that only the cooling units are exported to the chartered countries. Once they are there they can be adapted by entrepreneurs or local companies with uh, local available components as the PV panels or batteries or insulation materials to create the final solar cooling systems. These solar cooling systems are adapted to different value chains and are escalable. So you can put just more or less solar cooling units in parallel so that um, you produce the size that is needed for your certain uh, customer. We have been studying different applications where you can apply the solar cooling unit. For that we have created three sample systems. The first one is a smart ice maker. With this smart ice maker you can produce ice blocks to be used for fish cooling or milk cooling. The second sample system is a battery free refrigerator that you can use for vegetables or just as a household refrigerator. The third system is more advanced, it is a water chiller. This water chiller is based on an ice storage and you can use it for cooling cold rooms or more advanced uh, milk cooling systems. Now we are very happy to give you an overview of every single sample system. This is our self-made solar-powered ice maker. The construction of this ice maker was done in three parts. 
The outer box of the ice maker is made out of painted wood. The insulation material is polystyrene material and for waterproof conditions the polystyrene material is covered with a plastic layer. With this ice maker we can produce these two kilo ice blocks. Two evaporator plates divide the freezing room into three different chambers. At the top of the evaporator plates, powerful fans are installed for a better heat transfer. At sunny conditions, only the middle chamber is used for the daily ice production. At these conditions, around 18 kg ice per day can be produced. For the autonomy, at cloudy conditions, you can also take out the ice of the left and the right chamber. I want to introduce you to our solar fridge. It runs only on uh, solar power by photovoltaics uh, as seen in the background. The innovation is that we don't need a battery for this fridge. Instead, we use a phase change material to store the energy from a sunny day into the night. It is constructed by painted plywood with the insulation out of polystyrene and with plastic cover. As phase change material, we use commercially available ice packs. So in total, we have nine kilograms of water. This is enough to bridge the time during night or cloudy days to keep the fridge cool. The algorithm of the adaptive control unit ensures that the temperature in the main compartment remains between four and 12 degrees Celsius to keep your food and your drinks cool. Solar ice storage uh, machine works based on the principle of conventional vapor compression refrigeration system where the flat evaporator surface is immersed in a water bath. The ice blocks will grow on both sides of this, the flat evaporator surface. And this, the, the compressor is a DC compressor that will work directly by using energy directly from the photovoltaic uh, cells and it can be either uh, connected with a battery or it can work without a battery with a special control units. We can use this uh, solar ice storage um, um, uh, machine either for air conditioning system where as you can see here we have a sample fan coil unit where the cold or the chilled water from the cold storage will circulate through the fan coil unit and it will cool the air. So we can use this configuration both for air conditioning and also for cold room. And now we are coming to the end. I would like to thank you a lot also on behalf of the whole team and the Institute of Agricultural Engineering for watching this video. We hope that you like it, the strategy of promoting the use of solar cooling units to promote the creation of local jobs and assure that the technology is available in rural areas. Thank you very much and goodbye.